today we're gonna talk about the fluent interface design pattern um, this um, design pattern was coined in 2005 uh, by mr. Um, Eric and mr. Martin and the main purpose of this um, design pattern actually is to make the code more readable um, in this um, small example I'll try to explain it and in a way that make it understandable for for all of us so imagine that you have a product line and in this product line is divided into different stages in each stage you do something you can pack it for example like you can add um, uh, you can wrap it and everyone like is doing something for this and it this process is done in a chain like one after another and you can for example like exclude some of these steps or add more steps so let's start with this object let's say that we have an object called car and here we're gonna have this function like let's say this is our object and let's say that this object car has some attributes like make and um, let's say make for example let's say accurate kind of ac familiar with Ascura. Um let's say model is rlx and let's say this year equal 2017 and this is our object um, let's say now we're gonna start adding these functions to the um, car function or the car object what are we gonna do in this case we're gonna use the prototype to do that by this way let's say set model and here we're gonna pass the model and we're gonna say this dot model equal the model that's coming from the function and don't forget to retain this sorry we're gonna do the same for the other attributes and say make make gonna take this make and this is make and here we're gonna do the same thing sit here here and sit here here as you can see here so we defined these functions um, now um, let's say we're gonna print everything we're gonna add a function called for example or save it especially like this kind of design patterns like for example it's used to save the data to the database so let's say we have this and we can do for example in this case we, we don't need to print we don't need to save this database it's just for demo purpose so we can just print all um, what we need here let's say we're gonna do make and this dot make and then we can add model this the model and then year let's say here and now let's say last thing this dot here and as you can see don't forget to retain this so let's take this object now to google console let's see what we're gonna do here so we're gonna clear everything make sure sorry make sure everything is gone this is our object 
car so this is our object as you can see it has all these attributes in it now let's bring these functions that we defined here and now let's put our car object this is our car um, now let's define a new object let's call it um, let's call it Nissan and say new car sorry new car dot set model uh, let's say make and here we can add Nissan and then let's say save as you can see let's print Nissan this is Nissan as you can see so this is um, you can also uh, do this here so as you can see here we we use this chain of um, uh, of calling the methods to um, you know to prepare our object uh, so if, let's say that you have a, a query that has like age um, ID whatever you can set all of them in one line and at the end call the save function to save um, um, to save this object so this was a quick demo I hope you guys like it um, and I hope you if you have any question that I can answer please don't hesitate to ask me goodbye